off of the floor. I peep the edges though. Let's, Slayage. let's zoom in on those. <laughs> Bomb.com with the edges. Finally, whole head twisted. Whole Finally. Head. Let me zoom out. That's a lot. Finally. Oh, gotta zoom out again. It's a little close. <laughs> I'm not a really good camera person. Gotta zoom out again. Zoom okay. in. Zoom back in, zoom out, we're going to turn it. It's a lot of dreads up there, girl. Make sure my fingers aren't in the way. It's a lot of clips in here, too. Got the whole box. The whole box, though. The whole box. <laughs> Don't talk about that. And the peak of those slicks edges. <laughs> hey y'all it's lazy eye back with another video and a swollen lip but there will be a separate video as you can see i have a new piercing it's called the medusa this is the second day so it is a little swollen so i do apologize if that's kind of offensive but i wanted to come in and do the check-in i've been waiting so long to do if you're a dreadhead you know like so as you guys can see i just got my hair retwisted I mean, baby, it's fresh. My lactation don't play no games. But the most important part, look at this. Ah! As y'all know, I was growing out of undercut, and now she was able to twist it. It's like, ah, finally. So underneath this, I have all my little baby dreads. I'm called little, my little babies. I have all of them, so I'm so excited. Um, it's definitely going to be a challenging journey because these dreads, my longer ones, are nine months old. And then these baby ones just got started today, so they're you might as well just say a year apart. So it's definitely going to be challenging, you know, not getting them wet just because they're at the nape of my neck. And, you know, let me just show you guys. I love it, love it. Like, I've been wanting to have a full head of dreads since I decided to cut a, um, do an undercut in the side because I, I mean, I will never cut my hair like that ever again. My goal is to have dreads all the way down to my butt, and I'm 5'2", so I have quite a long ways to go, but I'm super duper, super duper excited, you guys. You don't understand, like, I literally just left the salon and rushed home to um, film this. I'm so excited. Um, definitely happy. Um, just so happy is my lactician. I went to high school with her. She's actually a friend of mine. She's the greatest. Like sitting in her chair, like she really has helped me with my locks. Such a great ways as far as products, how to maintain them, how to twist them myself in between visits. Um, currently I go once a month. Like I'm not looking in the camera. Like the camera is right here. But then y'all right here, it's, it's so weird. But yeah, currently I go every four weeks, but every two weeks I wash um, and retwist these dreads. I'm not sure how that's going to go for the simple fact. Um, I now have these new dreads that, you know, you don't want to get them wet. Like definitely not. So I may go back to just going once a month and having her or every three weeks, having her do them just to eliminate you know, these not getting, the new ones not getting messed up. So, I'm so excited, y'all. <laughs> like, this is, this is hashtag goals. Like, I've been natural for two years now. And, like, I've been on this lock journey for nine months. And now I've officially started my second set of locks. So, I'm just really geeked. Um, I actually have footage from me at the salon. I'll insert um, before, like, what I was looking for. I'm going to warn y'all now. I was looking rough. And then once she got everything twisted with the clips, I have that. And then this is the final look. And I don't, I'm not someone who likes my dreads plastered down to their head. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, the edges and the roots, they're down. But um, as far as, like, these hanging out kind of crazily, I don't mind that. Like, I'm a dreadhead. Like, 
this is what it is i'm just really excited you guys so i definitely will have clips in be sure to stay tuned for those and just get ready for this journey you gotta get ready for the summer you know so excited um i will have all of katrina's um information down below if you're local or hip if you even want to come in town if you're in the chicagoland suburban area definitely will have her information down she can be contacted via um, facebook messenger so i will leave her facebook page her instagram all that good stuff so you can contact with her she's also on is it book me i don't know but i'll have everything down below she's such a sweetie definitely it's feel good to support a classmate who's out here doing it and she's really talented I mean, she's definitely helped my locks along the way for so long. She's highly knowledgeable. She's up on the new trends. She doesn't just do locks. Like, she does natural hair. She does relaxed hair. She does it all. Like, definitely, like I said, if you're in the area, go check her out. Some of my other classmates go to her as well. And it's just it's great to support a classmate. And on top of that, it's just, like, really accomplish some hair goals. So it's like a two for one. So I just wanted to come in really quickly, check in with you guys give you a little look I mean look at this little here we are looking at the before Peep the edges though. Let's, Slage. let's zoom in on those. <laughs> Bomb.com with the edges. Here we are. Looking at the before. Peep the edges though. Let's, Slage. let's zoom in on those. <laughs> Bomb.com with the edges. Finally, Listen. whole head twisted. Whole Finally. Head. Let me zoom out. That's a lot. Finally. Oh, gotta zoom out again. It's a little close. <laughs> I'm not a really good camera person. Gotta zoom out again. Okay. Zoom back in, zoom out, we're gonna turn it. It's a lot of dreads up there, girl. Make sure my fingers aren't in the way. It's a lot of clips in here, too. Got the whole box. The whole box, though. The whole box. <laughs> Don't talk about that. And the peak of those slicked edges. <laughs> All right. Hey y'all, it's Lazy Eye back with another video and a swollen lip. But there will be a separate video. As you can see, I have a new piercing. It's called the Medusa. This is the second day, so it is a little swollen. So I do apologize if that's kind of offensive. But I wanted to come in and do the check-in. I've been waiting so long to do. If you're a dreadhead, you know. Like so, as you guys can see, I just got my hair retwisted. I mean, baby, it's fresh. My lactation don't play no games. But the most important part, look at this. Ah! As y'all know, I was growing out of undercut, and now she was able to twist it. It's like, ah, finally. So underneath this, I have all my little baby dreads. I'm called little, my little babies. I have all of them, so I'm so excited. Um, it's definitely going to be a challenging journey because these dreads, my longer ones, are nine months old. And then these baby ones just got started today, so they're, you might as well just say a year apart. So it's definitely going to be challenging, you know, not getting them wet just because they're at the nape of my neck. 
And you know, let me just show you guys. I love it, love it. Like I've been wanting to have a full head of dreads since I decided to cut a, um, do an undercut in the side cuts. I, I mean, I will never cut my hair like that ever again. My goal is to have dress all the way down to my butt, and I'm 5'2", so I have quite a long ways to go, but I'm super duper, super duper excited, you guys. You don't understand, like, I literally just left the salon and...